So the following video of this following topic is just an example of equilibrium and free body diagrams. Okay? So imagine we have the following um, simply supported beam. Ignore everything in blue for now and just visualize everything in black. So we have a pin support on the left hand side. We have a roller support on the right hand side. This is known as a simply supported beam. A simply supported beam has, um, it has a support as a pin and a roller. That's it. That's a simply supported beam. Okay? So the following simply supported beam has a length of 10 meters. So from here to here, we have 10 meters. We have a clockwise moment of 10 kilonewton meters, 4 meters from the left hand pin. Okay? So that's what we have. Um, we need to work out our reaction forces in the following example. So step one is we have to draw in the reaction forces on the free body diagram. So first off, we look at the uh, roller over here. In the previous video, we established that a roller has <coughs> a vertical restraint only, so a vertical reaction force. So a roller is, it can't move up and down since it's vertically restrained, but it can move left and right. So we only have one reaction force. Whereas a pin is restrained vertically and horizontally, as you can see here. So we draw a vertical and horizontal reaction force. Okay. So after we've drawn in our reaction force, we have we have established our free body diagram okay so now it's using simple calculations we can easily work out the reaction forces through the use of equilibrium provided the following structure is statically determinant it, in which it is bear in mind this course every single structure is determinant okay so we establish equilibrium we do sum of forces about the horizontal is equal to zero so sum of forces about x is zero so this is horizontal now, since HA is the only reaction force horizontally, immediately we can't add it to anything else. So immediately we can see that HA is equal to zero kilonewtons. Okay? Next, we do sum of forces about the y direction to equal zero. Right? So we have VA plus VB is equal to zero. Since they're the only two horizontal forces. Okay? So we have VA plus VB is equal to zero. Now we have two unknowns and one equation. So we need to make use of moments to work out VA and VB since it's impossible to work it out from this equation itself. So we can apply sum of moments about a certain point to equal to zero. Bear in mind that the sum of moments can equal to zero anywhere on the structure. So I took it about point A to minimize reaction forces calculations because point A um, VA and HA can be cancelled out since they have no leave arm on point A. That's why I chose it. It's the easiest one. So how do we do this? We do some moments about point A. So first of all, we have minus 10. Why do we have a minus 10? Because we have a clockwise moment of negative 10. Remember, we said clockwise means negative. Anti-clockwise means positive. Okay? So since we have a clockwise moment, we take minus 10. So we have minus 10 over here. Then we add plus 10 times VB okay why did we do this VB over here right has a lever arm of 10 meters towards point A so this is why we multiplied VB by 10 and why is it a positive moment because if we fix the following point and we rotate in the direction of this force you can see that the paper is moving anti-clockwise so it's a positive moment so we have minus 10 plus VB times 10 is equal to 0. Rearranging this gives us VB to equal 1 kilonewton, right? So now we know that, we also know that VA plus VB is equal to 0. And since VB equals 1 kilonewton, VA is immediately minus 1 kilonewton if we substitute into the following equation. So we just draw in the solutions, or write them in, excuse me. So we, we found that VA is minus 1 kilonewton, VB is 1 kilonewton, so minus 1 plus 1 gives us 0 so we have equilibrium and we found that HA is equal to 0 the horizontal force since it's the only one and this gives us equilibrium about the following structure so quick mem a quick summary we, st we draw on the reaction forces so on the left hand side we had a pin so we had two reaction forces horizontal and vertical restraint on the right hand side we had a roller one reaction force which is a vertical restraint now we have the FBD which is the free body diagram we did equilibrium, and we worked out our reaction forces. So I hope this video has helped you understand a bit more equilibrium. Thank you for listening.